Hello everyone, welcome to Caroline's Craft Tree and welcome to part three, I believe, of the Dragonfly Journal. So, I did do a couple changes to my pages. I am now going to do three signatures. Um, Fifteen pages in a signature was just going to be too much. So now I have three signatures with about ten in each. And I've just put a little sticky note on the order of the um, signatures that I want. So I'm going to work on number one. And I'm just going to work on one of the tea dyed pages. Um, I do have some paper clips here which I'm going to show you why I've got those on there at the end and then I have something else to show you as well for this. So I've pretty cut some stuff just to make the video go a little bit quicker. Just gotta take a drink. Okay. stuff ready. So what I have is I've got two envelopes. Now you could use any size of envelopes. I just happen to have a lot that are this size. And these are about four and five eighths by almost six. I've got the arrows so I know which way is going to be up. My paper is not directional, so I'm good there. And I've got one opening on the top. And one opening on the side. And I plan on somehow putting these together. I'm going to go on here and then one's going to flip that way. The other is going to flip that way. Now I have given some thought to how I'm going to do this. I need a couple of paper clips. Oh, there's one. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to just paper clip these together so they stay together. And I want just a little bit of overlapping. Hope you can see that. So I'm going to just paper clip the envelopes together so that they stay kind of where they're supposed to. Because my first thing is I want to glue these down to the page. And I've already seen I got them crooked. So let's refix that. I have not done this before. So it's going to be a new thing. Sometimes it scares me doing new things on camera. So that's going to go down towards the bottom because I'm going to have a tag sticking up and there'll be a tag this way as well. So let's, that'll be the right spot. So let's keep our fingers crossed that it's going to turn out. I'm using Art Glitter Glue. Love this stuff. You've never tried it, I suggest trying it. Okay, I want to get fairly close to the edge. You could use any size of envelope providing that they're gonna fit on your page. You could even make your own envelopes if you don't have any. They could be different sizes, it really does not matter. Okay, now, make sure that I got that there. And now let's, I'm gonna try and do about the even 
around the three edges. Okay, now I can take my paper clips out. So now one is going to flip that way, one is going to flip that way. Now I've got a whole bunch of pieces cut for on here, and I did want writing room in this whole little thing. So I've got this one here is going to go on the very front. Now I cut this just a tiny little bit smaller than the envelope. So let's go ahead and glue that down right now. And these are just cut from a couple of the pages from the kit. I hope you're enjoying these step-by-step -step things. I'm learning about doing a step-by-step -step video on a journal. Being that this is my first time doing this kind of thing. So let's hopefully we can get that. One thing about the glitter glue, it does not give you a lot of time to adjust your work. But I never press it down on it hard until after I know it's... So there is no, step number one. Step number two on the inside, I'm going to put just a piece of tea dyed paper. And we do not want to glue in there. We want to leave that open. So the first thing I want to do is just put a little glue on these little bits of the corner of the envelope that aren't glued down really great. Because once you have cut the envelope, then it just isn't quite the same. So let's do that. So now I want to put one strip of glue down here and then I'll go around the shape of the envelope and then glue up the rest so that this can sit right in there. And then you've got journaling room, but I might just put a little decoration or something on there, we'll see. So let's actually put glue on this edge of the paper. And then around the edge of the envelope. I do want to get fairly close to the edge. See how that works. And then this is going to go right like so. I did ink around the envelopes. So now we have a pocket there. Except that should not be glued up quite like that. There we go. Okay, now on the other envelope, I just want to put a little dab of glue right in this corner. Okay, then on this side, I have this piece of the page, 
this did come from the same page it's just an opposite corner and this one I could really put anyway but I'm going to put it this away and again I cut it a little bit smaller than the actual envelope and this one will get all glued down so let's go ahead and do that Dragonflies are one of my favorite animals. I love it when we go fishing and they hover around the boat and they will even land on us and stuff when we're out on the lake. They're so mysterious and the way they hover can hover right in front of you and just kind of sit there and look at you. Okay, let's try to get that on there. Nice and even. Give it a good pat down. Okay. And now on the inside here, we're going to put another piece of tea dyed paper over here. And I just want to put a little bit of glue. This one's going to have the opening at the top, remember. So I'm going to put just a drop of glue right on that edge just to hold it down. And this one here, these edges are okay because I didn't slice down that side. Okay, so this will get a glue down this side. To take care of that then I'll go around there and go from there so let's strip of glue right down there around the envelope and then let's just do all around here And we'll just throw some down here. Whoops. Threw my glue over there. I got a little bit of glue right where it shouldn't be. Okay, let's glue this down. Now on here, I, I don't want to waste all the journaling space, so I just cut a piece of tea dyed paper, dropped my ribbon that I'm going to need, oh dear, that's what I forgot. When I had it like this, I was going to put this ribbon behind it to tie it closed. Silly me. I'm going to try and come up with something else then for that. Okay. I always do that when I plan on tying something down. I always forget to put the ribbon on. So this is just going to go on here. Then I don't lose the writing space. But then it covers up the things on the envelopes and stuff. So that is the plan there. Now because this is so big, I always worry about the glue drying before I get to put it down. So I'm going to start with the bottom. And I'm just going to go up, I don't know, maybe a third of the way. And I'm going to glue all that down. And then I'm going to put it down just kind of at the end of the 
envelopes. Try to get it in there fairly even. I'm going to press all that down. I'll turn this around. And now I'm just going to lift this up and put some more glue on it. So what I usually do is I do a line of glue right there. And then I just do however much I want to do. Sometimes I'll do it in three, four stages, whatever I think. I think I can do this one in two. So there we go. Glue that down. So now we have there, there, and there, minus the ribbon that I was going to put down. Um, it's too bad that I forgot. And I don't know if I could lift it up enough. Oh, maybe I could. Let's... Okay, let's see what we can do here. If we can... Okay. So right about there, let's put... Drop a good chunk of glue down there. And use my paper clip to get that down in there and stuck onto the glue. Okay, now glue this back down. Would have been easier just to not forget it. Okay, let's hold that down a bit. Try to make sure that that's fairly flat. I want the ribbon to go just below the dragonfly, but that's pretty close to being in the middle. Okay, now can I get this side up? Yep, I can. Okay. Let's flatten this end a little bit. This is just seam binding, which I dyed using, um, what color did I use? I think faded jeans on this. And I did want it just a little bit blotchy like that, so it turned out just perfect. Okay, let's... I want the glue right about there. Okay, let's... Drop a big blob of glue in there. Not a big blob, but you know what I mean. And let's get that down to the glue. Try to flatten it out a bit. Okay, now we can glue the rest of this down. I have been saved. <clears throat> okay. Now I just need to cut this or about in half. So then I'll tie that in a bow. Now I went and this is the napkin I had and not sure if you can see but I had a time ticket so I just um, 
collage the napkin on top of that and did a stitch and made a card. I backed it with some um, tea dyed doily paper that I colored and just put on a piece of that trim. And that is going to go into this pocket right here. And that's going to stick out the side. Then we also, this is from my shaped tags. I'll leave a link to these things down below. And all that I did was I cut it out. I put a little hole in here using this punch. It's a stamping up thing. It's EK Success. So it just makes a little long skinny hole. Again, just put one piece of the same kind of seam binding. And that is going to go in there and stick out the top. I have some flower die cuts. I have, um, these are mostly from this Tim Holtz collection of the flowers. And I was eyeing up this leaf, and I just got this actually recently in some happy mail. And I'm thinking, I'm just putting it there just to add a little something. I don't want a lot, just a little something. And I also have, these are my number um, tickets. Uh, things. I was thinking on just putting one of those like that. I don't want like a whole ton on there because I want the writing room. Just ink up the edge on that. I won't ink up the um, die cut. So somewhere just very simple very easy sometimes you don't need a lot and I really like to leave lots of writing room in a journal or for the person to make it their own by adding all the embellishments that they want Okay, now let's glue this up, which could take a while. So one thing about die cuts like this, they're uh, lots of little pieces to glue. So I'm just going to put a little bit on each leaf, and then right down the stem. And hopefully that will hold it down good. I can always go back if there's little spots that are... A little tissue to wipe off the glue. So there is that. And that. person could decorate this up more. Put a little bit of stuff on there. I do have a dragonfly stamp, so I might just put a little couple little um, dragonfly stamps around just to give it a little more character. So there is that. And that's kind of our first embellishment decoration of the dragonfly journal. But I do have a couple other things to show you. So there is that with the bow. And this is going to go in the first signature. You can see here where that glue kind of is through, but it's not bad enough to worry about. So there is that. So 
The other things I wanted to show you, I dug out some different laces and I dyed them and some different seam binding. I have a blue type and a pink and a purple of the seam binding, which I'm going to use throughout this journal. And then I've got some little pieces of a few different kinds of lace. And again, I dyed them in a blue, a pink, a purple, and a green. So they're just shorter pieces of the different kinds. And that brings me to the paper clips. Now this one here did have a paper clip on this side, so let's take that off the book. Put it onto here. So that's going to go right into there, into signature number one. So you can see the paper clips I have in here, and I want to put edges, lace edges with the lace I just showed you on those pages. Now I decide about how many pieces of lace I want sticking out. I don't want too many, but I do want some. So I decided to do two pages per signature with lace on them. So I'm going to basically have six pieces of lace sticking out of this side of the book. And the way I decide, I just hold my pages up like that. And then I just think, okay, well that could be a good spot. That could be a good spot. And it also depends on the pages themselves. Now this one here is just the blank tea dyed paper. So I can have the lace sitting, overlapping on either side. I don't want to cover up um, designs or maybe I think the stitching won't go good on it or something. This one here is a piece of tea dyed paper. Again, I could put the lace on either side. Signature number two. Again, just plain tea dyed paper. And it looks like that signature is upside down. So let's put that there. So on here, I've got this page. So I figure I could do stitching quite easily there with not interrupting the dragonfly. And on this one, again, this tea dyed paper. So most of the lace is going on the plain paper. Because pockets and stuff, even with lace running down the side, I could still put a pocket if I wanted. And then the other one is on a piece of tea dyed paper. So the way I do this, let's is I'll take my page out because I hand stitch um, kind of do things a little bit different okay so I'm going to take a piece of lace and I always glue it down and then I stitch it the glue is just enough to hold it now with this I have about a half an inch. Let me just get my cover out. And let me get a signature here. Oops. So when I have my things in, I've got like about a half an inch there so some of that's going to be covered up 
with the lace once it's in there. Okay, don't need that. So with the art glitter glue again, I'm just going to run a bead. And the glue is more to hold it in place while I hand stitch. So I'm going to do one right along the edge. And I'm going to go in about maybe a quarter of an inch. And do another line. Now I can glue my lace down. And I just try to line my lace up with the edge of my page, trying to get it kind of, kind of even, I guess. Okay. Trim this off. And I'll save that for something. So then when my page, let's just slide it back in to my signature. Then you'll get it sticking out. It's not sticking out tremendously or anything. And this one will have, like I say, the two. So I plan on doing that off of camera, so I'll have that done for the next part of this. And I'll alter the colors. So this one is a green, so this one may be a purple. Um, if there's a color page next to it, I might try to match up the color a little bit. So I think it's coming along slowly. But that's also because I have to kind of plan ahead for what I'm going to show you. But I really, really like it. I love this kit. And I dyed these with um, Tim Holtz Distress Inks. This one was... Um, wilted Violet. I got the Blue Jean. Uh, this one was trying to look up on my can't remember. I think this one was Spruce or so, something like that. And the pink was Victorian Velvet. And I just use a plastic mat, I put it down, I dab the ink, spray it with water, um, and then I just rub this into it. I um, took the ink and I blotched it on top of the items as well because I wanted it to be blotchy like this, kind of irrigated I guess. So I really like how it turned out. I didn't want it just a solid color. No. Okay, and then I do have videos on how I do my hand stitching. So I'll leave a link to some of that below. If not, just look at the playlist and I have a whole section on the hand stitching. And that is it for today. Our first little goodie for in the book. And we will see you soon. Bye.